Hi there, Heritage Bible Church family. Pastor Brian here with your March 23rd Pastor's Corner uh, Daily Devotional. Uh, today we're going to be talking about just our identity in Christ. Who are we in Christ? Uh, we just finished up on Sunday nights, the fourth week of our series, looking at our identity in Christ. So we've covered that in Christ I am forgiven. In Christ, I, you are righteous in God's sight. Uh, in Christ, you are at peace with God. Romans 5, 1 tells us that. In Christ, you are a new creation. In Christ, you are a child of God. You are one of God's children now, adopted into his kingdom. This and this past Sunday, just last night, we covered uh, that in Christ, well, what is uh, 1 Peter 2, 9 says that, it, let me read it for you. Peter says, 1 Peter 2, 9, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession. And how wonderful uh, that is, that we are chosen by God, a chosen uh, race by Jesus' blood. We are part of God's family. We're distinct. We're the, the church. We're the, uh, the ecclesia. We are set apart from this, this world. We're chosen by God. We're God's uh, beloved possession. We're a royal priesthood. We get, uh, in Christ, we have authority, which goes into the supernatural world. We have uh, this royal priesthood, the imagery of we have access to the Father. There's uh, no more that curtain that separates uh, us from the Holy of Holies because of Jesus Christ. We can go directly to the Father. How wonderful that is our identity in Christ. Uh, in Christ, we're a holy nation. We're set apart. In Christ, we are a people for his own possession. Man, that's great. And, and all the wonderful sense of, of the word, we're people for his own possession. But all this stuff means nothing if God doesn't keep his promises. Which we know he does. We know that God keeps his word. So we are always uh, chosen. We are always forgiven. You are always righteous. You are always at peace uh, with God. You're always a new creation. You're always a child of God. Uh, just because of the simple fact of placing your faith, as we talked about this morning, or Sunday morning rather, placing your faith in Jesus Christ, trusting him uh, for your life, trusting him for your salvation. We know there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we may be saved. So by our simple faith in Jesus Christ, we have all of these which cannot be taken away. God uh, keeps his word and how wonderful that is. So as we go about our days, as we struggle, as we fail, as Satan tries to whisper into our ears that we're uh, none of these things. In fact, we're just the same old, same old. Say no. You know why? Because that, that song that we learned when we were kids, for the Bible tells me so. The Bible tells me that I'm something different. The, the Bible tells me, no, I'm a chosen race. I'm chosen by God. He, he chose me. In fact, Scripture says before the world uh, was created, uh, we were chosen in Christ. It's royal priesthood, holy nation, people for our God's own possession. I, no, you're God's creation. You, you are God's creation. You are God's possession. And the wonderful imagery, neat imagery, and that being uh, God's possession is that he takes perfect care of his possessions. You're a treasured possession. He knows how to take care of you well. And what else does he know? He now has to use you perfectly. You're not a wrench that God tries to use as a hammer. Has anybody ever tried to do that? Yeah, I've used a wrench as a hammer. I'm sure you have too. But God knows how to use us. And he doesn't leave us out in the yard for a day or two or a month or two or a year or two. He takes us back in. He knows how to take care, perfect care of us. That's who you are. And so in the midst of uh, this worldwide pandemic, you're a treasured possession of God. Not because I say so. Not because my interpretation of Scripture says it. But Scripture is very clear in 1 Peter 2.9. And over and over again in the Old Testament as well, your, your treasured possession of God. So meditate on that thought today. Let that sink in. So I love you guys. Let me pray for you. Lord, we're so grateful that we are a treasured possession of you. 
amongst other things, that we are forgiven. We are righteous. Lord, we are at peace with you. We are a new creation. We are a child of God. We are a holy nation. We are so, so, so much in you. Lord, we thank you that your death on the cross, your your resurrection back to life three days later brought not just a ticket to heaven, but opened up this relationship with you, the creator of the universe. And you love us so much. Help us to walk in that truth this day. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right. Love you guys. We'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye.